Hi again, everybody. I thought after I got done doing my hamster, um, my hamster care videos, I thought I would be done doing videos for today. But I decided my parents still weren't home, so I was going to go on the computer and watch One Direction videos on YouTube instead of getting on YouTube on my cell phone. And I actually got on, and it said that I had two messages in my inbox. So. Um, one of them was a person who had watched some of my guinea pig videos when I had said that I had got two guinea pigs from PetSmart and they were both sick. She had said that she was going to get a guinea pig, but she decided not to get one at PetSmart and somewhere else. And then I had another message asking from another pet owner what is the best types of water bottles, which is why there are water bottles all in front of me. And it was just really more special knowing that someone was watching your videos and actually hearing from someone instead of just seeing a little number of views go up. I don't know why it just felt more real that people were watching my videos. So I am going to do a water bottle video of which water bottles I recommend and which ones I don't. Um, these are the kind of water bottles I have so I'm going to go through them. First one is this one. This is a 16 ounce um, LM Animal Farms water bottle. I have two of these. I do not recommend these because the spout, the ball does not stay at the end. Oops, a little bit of water came out. Um, the spout, the ball does not stay at the end. So if you like go to work or go to school or something and you leave your guinea pig alone for a few hours, well multiple hours, um, this can, if your guinea pig or whatever animal you have if they chew on this, the ball could get stuck and they could get a little bit dehydrated, especially if you don't notice until the next day when you change the water out. So I don't really recommend these too much. Um, other than that, it is a pretty good water bottle, you know, plastic. Um, oh, don't roll away. Then, um, I'm going to put this away now. Then I have this water bottle, which I don't remember what brand this is. I got it because um, this is when I had got a guinea pig for my friend for Christmas, last Christmas. She really wanted an animal, and her, that was the only animal I could convince her mom to let me get for her for Christmas. And they didn't have a very good water bottle, so I was going to get her a new one, and, you know, because I gave it to her on Christmas, and I had it about a week before Christmas. The water bottle stinks, so the day after I got it, I went to my local pet store to get a new water bottle. And this was the only one they had. And it does not work. It leaks really bad. So I had to be really mean and just give it to her and tell her to buy a new water bottle. Um, so I don't use this at all. The spout, once again, the ball slips down. <coughs> it has this little... Let's see if I can get this off. This is what holds it to the side of the cage. It just hooks on and leans off the side of the cage. So... That's that, and it is a 16 ounce water bottle. Don't know what brand it is. Next is Super Pet. Now, Super Pet is great when you want to buy a water bottle. I think Super Pet is one of the best brands if you can find it. Um, this I got at my local PetSmart. Um, Super Pet, it has this great feature on this bottle where there's a spring behind the ball in the spout that makes the ball stay there no matter how much they mess with it. Um, it's kind of hard to see how much water is in it when it's filled. So it has a little little duck in it, which is really cute. It floats at the top, so you can see where the water line is. I think this is a 10 ounce. It might be a 16 ounce, might be 12 ounces. It's somewhere between 10 and 15 ounces. It doesn't say on the bottle. Yeah, it doesn't say on the bottle. Oops. Oh wow, I did not know that. Right here it says um, refill time. I did not know that. So, they're really cool. They're cute with a little duck. You do have to scrub the duck though, so it's a little bit extra work, but it is very cute. Um, another Super Pet water bottle. Even though, this is glass. So glass is always better. If you can get a glass water bottle and you don't have like other pets that could knock it down, this is great to use. The spout is another one of those, the ball doesn't stay forward, but it's glass, so I think that even though it doesn't have that little spring behind the ball, it still works great. 
It's Super Pet, so it has a little duck in it. I think all Super Pet bottles have a duck in it. So that's really great. This is the water bottle I use. Oh, this is a 8-ounce water bottle. You can get them bigger in glass. They come in different sizes. This is the water bottle I use. This is my hamster's water bottle because my guinea pig was drinking out of hers when I went to go get it, so I didn't take it from her. This came with my All Living Things starter kit. I have two of these. I have this one, which is an 8 ounce for my hamster, and I have a 16 ounce one that came with my guinea pig. These, I believe, aren't sold separately. You can try looking online. It's All Living Things water bottles. It has a spring behind it. It's plastic, but it still works great. I think if you prefer glass, you can get glass, but I use plastic. Now I want to talk about some of the things that connect your water bottle to your cage. I have five examples. This came with the Super Pet bottle, as in this one. This is only sold with this one. It's a little bit harder to attach to the cage because you do need a screwdriver most of the time. Um, this, it also comes, this is a square one, it also comes in round. It just hooks onto the side of your cage. Um, I don't know if they sell these separately, <coughs> but that's one. This, which is great for if you have your pet in a type of aquarium, like if you have some mice or a hamster in an aquarium, this is really great to hook onto the side. Um, it does move a lot, though, because I had some rats before, and this is what I used in their cage, because they were in a huge aquarium, and it does move a lot. This is the one I mainly use. It's a bit more expensive. <clears throat> I believe they're about 10, I want to say $10 or under. It's also, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> These um, hook onto the side of your cage or, <clears throat> sorry, or on the side of your aquarium. It's this little metal bend to the side of your aquarium. The only thing is, this is only sold to hold a 16-ounce water bottle. So this is the one I use in my guinea pig's cage. In my new chinchilla cage, it came with a water bottle. And I use like this, but it's round. Instead of these squares, it's round. And it hooks onto the side of the cage. But I will be buying it a new water bottle next month. And the last one, this. I know, it's not much. You hook it onto the side of your cage, and the water bottle just slips in the side, so it will, like, look like this, somewhat. Hooking onto the side of the cage, the water bottle goes through there. It does hold your water bottle really well. This is what I use on my hamster's water bottle. This is the actual one that I took it off my hamster's, oops, my hamster's container. And it will just go around the water bottle, just right around it. I can't do this with one hand, but it will go around your water bottle and hook it onto the side of the cage. This works well, and this works really well. This is good if you have a, a type of animal that chews on the side of your bottle. Like, some hamsters or guinea pigs or any type of rodent will chew right around this area. So it has this guard in it that it will protect it so they can't chew, which is really great. I haven't had a rodent that will chew on their water bottle because I've always, you know, made sure they have lots of chew toys. So, it's just, you know, it, it's just a precaution. I think it works better. It's easier to take out and put in every day when I change the water. <clears throat> so, yeah, those are the kinds of stuff that I use. So, I strongly recommend, if you can find an All Living Things water bottle, they work great. Or if you can find a Super Pet, Super Pet bottle, they work really well, too. Um, so that's all I can really think about to say about water bottles. You know, keep them clean, scrub them out, use a bottle scrubber, like, once a week. So that's all I can really think about. Yeah. So please, if you have any questions, leave a comment or inbox me. Um, as you can see, I got one question and did a whole video about the question. So I will definitely give you an answer through a video, probably. So yeah, please subscribe and leave a message or, you know, comment or inbox me.